seated. You may be seated. On your way to your seat, tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor, we're going to get this thing together. We're going to get this thing together. And tear the devil's and kingdom the devil's apart. Kingdom oh, we're going to get it together. We're going to get it together until we drive every enemy spirit Woo! out of our church. We're going to get it together until we destroy every spirit of division. We're going to get it together until every click is broken. We're going to get it together. Go ahead and shout glory. Shout glory. Oh, yes, that, that was the problem in Judges. That was the problem. Can I take my time tonight? That was the problem with, with Israel. Balkanized and, and divided in the tribes. And so thank God. They didn't appreciate their status. They didn't appreciate their access to God to bring about unity and to bring about understanding. They didn't understand, amen, that God could, could breach any division. God could solve any problem. Uh, don't you know that we were spiritual enough, uh, amen, we could handle anything that dared to tear us asunder? Don't you know? I wish I could preach like I want to preach. Don't you know that, that we don't have to tear up ministries and tear up churches? Are y'all thinking what I'm saying? If we would but pray, didn't the Bible say, if my people that are called by my name would humble themselves? Lord have mercy. But somehow, somehow, they missed that. And they got so carnal until one day they went and told and told. Help to save the job. They said, we need a king. We want to be like other folk. And y'all know Samuel had to struggle with that. But God had to help his mind and say, they have not rejected you. Rejected me. They have rejected me. And the Bible lets us know that Samuel then went out on a search. And I believe he was directed by God. Hear me tonight. Got directed by God. Went down, you know, and found a man by the name of Saul. Saul, thank God. Amen. Tall and, and erudite. Saul, amen. Handsome. Looked like a king. Had the stature of a king. Saul, man that knew. Work how to fight. Me, Jeff. Thank God on the battlefield. Saul, man. That, that had leadership skill and leadership ability but not only that catch this Saul was a Benjamite look at somebody and say neighbor Saul was a Benjamite, was a Benjamite. Was a Benjamite. Benjamin they didn't that, miss. that proud yes. tribe Benjamin amen the second son yes. amen of Jacob and Rachel Benjamin one of those children that, that was born by the wife that Jacob loved, Benjamin. Hey Amen. The child, I wish I could talk. The child that was born when Rachel died, Benjamin. Son that, that Jacob loved so much, didn't want to let him leave out of his presence. Right. There was something about Benjamin. Benjamin held, held his head up high. Benjamin felt as if he was better than anybody else. It's Benjamin that all the other tribes have to assemble themselves together and go up and fight because Benjamin was too proud to change the ways. Benjamin, I want everybody to help me tonight and do a quick pew check. Look up and down your road. Look up. Look up. Don't be afraid. Look on both sides of you and you might have some Benjamites sitting on your road tonight. Somebody say, well, how would I know if they're Benjamite? I'll give you a hint. They haven't said amen all night. How would I know that they're Benjamite? Oh, keep looking. Bend over, bend over, bend over. Look down your pew and say, I'm trying to see the Benjamite. How do I know it? They haven't raised their hand yet. Seen them sway from side to side one time. How do I know? 
Come on. 